All I'm saying is, is that he got praise. He got the most amount of praise in his life for that, that role. And I feel like he got stuck in that role to a certain degree for the rest of his life. That's what I think. Now, listen, I'm sure if me and him talked, he would say I'm full of shit, whatever. From my point of view, that's what it is. I equate that to Tupac. Tupac. Very much so. Tupac did Juice as Bishop. And I remember even like Biggie was saying when they ran into each other at the Soul Train Awards and guns got drawn and everything else like that. Like Biggie was looking at this guy who he used to hang out with, that he was close friends with and everything else like that. And he's like, I'm not seeing Tupac. I'm seeing Bishop. Thank you. See, I mean, I've, I've been saying this. I said it a long time ago when people try to attack me. But now you think about everybody who speaks about Tupac. There's two. There's a dichotomy. There's two guys going on. Mm-hmm. All you got to do, please, please play the 17 year old Tupac. Uh, the, the little the the interview that that that's who he was. Yeah, he was this innocent, almost dare I say, somewhat effeminate type of dude, right? Like when you really look at that that interview, he was a very soft person. That's who he was. Two years later. He plays Bishop. And that character that he created with Bishop influenced millions of people. And he stayed in that character. Because yeah. I literally would see him flip-flop from one character to the other. Because we would hang out, we'd play pool. And famously, people would say, your friend looks like Tupac. <laughs> and they didn't think that could be him. Because he was more like that 17-year-old guy. And a lot of people that really knew him was like, yo, he's... because." Because I always speak the way I speak now. And so he felt very comfortable being that other side around me. That really playful, you know, clowny, kind of like silly type of guy who knows all the schoolhouse rock jangles, you know. And then would flip into a different mode around. It's kind of like like once he did that bishop role, that became a much more interesting character for him to play and i always say it's like if al pacino played scarface and then chose to stay as a cuban drug lord right to impress cuban gangsters well he could stay in that character if he right. wanted to you know what i mean al could have done that completely but when you're a young kid that impressionable and you get all of this accolades for being that character, even gangsters, you know, look up to you and give you the, the, that's a fantasy for a young kid like that who was saying, you know, oh, these guys call women the B word, the B word. He was saying this in their interviews. Mm. Two years later becomes Bishop, right? So, I mean, I just think this is a fascinating study of human be it was human behavior that people could could just you could just look at that yeah. and go wait a minute the Tupac that you've seen his biography is a guy who grew up tough his whole life that's not what he was simply that's not what he was he grew up poor his whole life yeah but you would think he grew up in the hood his whole life and you know good and damn well that that wasn't a scenario. Yeah, no, no. Because he after hopped around interview, different cities from Baltimore to Marin yeah, to New, after that New York. When he's 17. Yeah. What, what, he's a background dancer for Digital Underground. Right. So, and then he gets cast in, as in Juice. Right. You know? So that it's fascinating when you just think about this imagery. It kind of connects with the Seagal thing. There's an image that somebody's presented. If you... Really pay attention. Who are the real people? There's an imagery that most of our our rappers presented early on. That when you look at it later, and the Snoop's and Dr. Dre's and Ice Cubes and all these people, you go, wait a minute, is that the gangster that that influenced me to become a gangster? Hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> is that the gangster that influenced me. To I, become so a gangster? so. You know, is yeah, yeah. So I I look at it and go, hey, just you know, just kind of educate yourself and say, okay, there's imagery that that gets paid great deals of money presenting themselves and influencing 
a whole generation of people yeah. to act other than what they are. Like, you know, so it's like, it's encouraging these, this kid from not picking up a book and picking up a gun. Yeah. You know, sadly, that's the truth. 